Any future that will not require a change from you will not be different from the past. You should be more alignment. Yes, indeed, if there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. The answers come for you. In the name of Jesus. Alright. Give me from verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. We began to understand the place, especially the last series, last week's series. Please get that message if you are not in service. We began to understand um, the balance to spirituality, how the church, especially in the region of Africa, has embraced what we call false spirituality are we together and we established last week the place of the interaction between our double glory both the kail glory and the kabod glory how many of us were in service last week let me see your hand oh beautiful and so we found out from genesis that when god created man he created man as a spirit in chapter 1 and he knew that for man to find an expression on the earth realm, he had to give him what another kind of what glory so you hear the scripture saying things like there is a glory terrestrial and there is a glory celestial are we together and so he gave man a casing called the body so that the spirit can find what expression on the earth and same it is also for us the cardboard glory the deposit and the spiritual rea re realities embedded in our inside will be expressed through what the kai glory are we together and so if we don't make up our mind to exploit our makeup our configuration then we will not live to the fullness of our potential are we together so it brings us to a place where we now understand that for the divine glory to have a reality and expression on the earth, we must open the channel for it to flow through what our Kail glory. Are we together? I gave an example last week. For instance, are you prophesied um, over you and saying God is going to bring wealth come your way? And I gave us one of the systems of wealth transfer is that people are going to pay or nations individuals are going to pay for your education at their expense now after giving such a prophecy then such a young man heard there was a scholarship and he never applied in his mindset he expected a roof to pop open and then Ghana must go feed with pounds sterling dollars and the rest of them should drop down from the roof so it brings a mockery to the Christian faith are we following and people insult the christian making it look like religion is a scam are we following because of what the imbalance and i said last week um in a um, third series i think that most of the solution we enjoy in the days we are including the church we are provided by people that were not christians the handsets you use, the chairs you sit, the laptops you make use of, the projector screen we use, including the mic I am using now, we are provided by people that were not Christians. And we embrace what they brought, the solution they brought. Are we together? Are we following? Are we following? So we must of necessity make up our mind to what? Exploit. The Bible says we are created in what? The image of God. Any man parenting a child, we parent a child in the way that when that child grows up, such a child can take decisions by themselves. It becomes abuse of parenting when at the age of 20, 30, your child still calls you to say, Daddy, I need to know that I should brush my teeth. Are we together? So if we don't begin to bring things into perspective, because what the preparation going on on the earth is for the forthcoming revival. Habakkuk 2.14 says, And the earth shall be filled with what? The glory of the Lord as the water covers the sea. 
Matthew 24 said, and this gospel shall be preached what? As a witness. And I took us last week through the journey of scripture to Revelation 11 that tells us about two witnesses who some said might be Elisha and uh, Elijah rather and Enoch and others believe it to be Moses and what? Elijah. Why? Because the Bible says one has the ability to what? Turn water to blood and the other has the ability to what? Call on fire. The Bible begins to tell us that in their days they will prophesy and give their testimony. Remember the word witness. And the Bible says we should preach as what? Witness right and in verse 15 of revelation 11 the bible says and after they were done with their assignment and purpose then the angels shouted the kingdoms of this world has now become the kingdoms of our god and his christ are we following so we are not talking just about the church the weakness in it is that is that the glory of the lord will be seen in all the spheres and the systems of the earth in the political scene we will bring creativity in the business world will bring creativity are we together not just speaking in tongues no that's the cupboard glory yeah we see some spectacular things gold dust and the rest of them are we together but that creativity where we begin to bring forth solutions who will become to our generation what joseph was to egypt who will become to our generation what daniel was to babylon are we following the glory of the Lord shall what? Feel the earth. And it won't come by just we speaking, you know, a few tongues and just enjoying God and just quoting some few verses of the scripture. If we don't take the lead in creativities and inventions, are we together? I I'm trying to put the balance so we can build from there for those that are just joining us. So get this series. And um, the problem there is we are looking at the scripture. Can I have that scripture now? Okay, 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 5, I'll try to read. The Bible says, For we wrestle not against what? Flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers and rulers of darkness in what? The heavenly places. For the weapons of our warfare are not what? Ghana. But they are mighty through God. You know, when you see such kind of statement in scripture, what you should be anticipating following such statement is that you should be hearing some terrible weapons like the tartaric acid of heaven the ak-47 of the spirit you know we've invented so many weapons i'm sure god doesn't even know about are we together especially when we want to deal with the devil we just create weapons in the spirit he said like join the rock of heavens you know you just put vocabularies together are we following i was expecting that those are the kind of things we should see it following but the bible says to the pulling down these weapons we are giving in the spiritual in the spiritual world is to the pulling down of what strongholds are we following and casting down he began to explain what those strongholds are casting down what imaginations and every other thing that have lifted up itself against the knowledge of God are we together casting down imagination if in your days you don't do things that marvels the world even God will be surprised what did I say again if in your days you don't do things that marvel the world even God will be surprised I told you how much he knew the creature he made and in Genesis 11 verse 8, he said, if I don't stop these guys, if they say they will get to heaven, they will do so. I knew that they were created in my image. Are we following? I knew the potential, the abilities, the innate wiring I gave to them. Once they make up their mind to do anything, they would. Are we following? As compared to a generation of Christians, who have totally become robots when we just give our life to Christ we suspend our brains and make it look like they kept it there just to occupy space and make you look nice are we together and you know the funny thing what God tried to stop them from doing in Genesis they still did it men are still traveling to, Apollo, to, to the moon is that not so they've gone finally in fact I think there is a current um, research on how to make humans to begin to live there in case the ozone layer depletes and decide to destroy some few how they can fly and begin to exist in another planet that's the creativity of the human man are we together but the bible is showing us another story to it 
Why is it that Africa is called the dark continent? Why? 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 It's a stronghold. Give me Galatians chapter 3. It's what? A stronghold. It's a stronghold. Sponsored from the speakings of an altar. That's why the Bible says when Balaam wanted to curse in Numbers 23 verse 1 to 29, he wanted to curse the children of Israel and bring them into what? A level of what? Fail, um, non-entities and failures. He established what? Altars. That's why one thing I am trusting God to do in the days we are and even around this territory is to raise up altars. Because to dominate a territory is to make sure there are altars littered everywhere. I'm not saying you go find two blocks of stone and put together, but you can raise an altar of prayer. If we have it littered everywhere, in no time we'll dominate this land. Alright, Galatians 3. This is Paul crying out now. All foolish Galatians who had bewitched you that you should not obey the Lord before whom whom has Christ had what? Been crucified. Are we following? Paul was surprised. You know, when a man begins to behave abnormal, so what the devil does is to what? Inflict your mind. Are we together? Especially in Africa. To fill it with what? Darkness. By the oppressions of the rulers of darkness. To scatter your mind. And you see someone behaving abnormal. Paul was shocked. This guy saw Jesus crucified. They saw him. And yet they were doing things like they never saw him. He was surprised. And the only way he could conclude was who had what? Bewitched you. Who had cast a spell on your mind. Are we together? Are we following? So sometimes you are shocked at even the decisions you make. How many of you have taken decisions and at the end you felt bad? You couldn't believe you took such a step. It's the manipulations of altars against your life. Scattering your natural what? Glory. Your natural glory. I told you the story of a young man who was working in a very big company and decided overnight by himself to resign resigned from the company and then was begging all through the city. It's a manipulation. Are we together? It's a manipulation. And the Bible said, this is one of our constant warfare. Our constant warfare. No, no wonder Proverbs 4.23 said, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it flows what? The issues of life. The devil targets your natural glory. He manipulates your mind to make you unreasonable. You take steps that a sane person will not take. It's a manipulation, a bewitchment on your mind. It's a bewitchment. It's like having an exam tomorrow morning and you slept all through the night without reading and then people are saying won't you stand up to read you are even angry they are disturbing you it's a manipulation said who had bewitched you who had cast what a spell on you rise up let's pray one prayer before I proceed in two minutes I'll be done we'll pray tonight Lord every bewitchment on my mind let your fire judge tonight raise your voice and pray Every bewitchment on my mind. Let your fire judge tonight. In Jesus' name, we pray. 
And so you see an average African having low reasoning capacity. An average African. See the way they manipulate us. That's why the newspaper keeps selling with lies. Because they know we don't reason. There is a spell on our mind. There's a spell. And you know where it is difficult? Is that at the level we are, it is what? A stronghold. So you find that you are opening the eyes of men to see you are under a spell. And they are even feeling bad about you. Because they are not seeing anything. A man under a stronghold can never know. He needs someone else to tell him that he's under what? A stronghold. Because in the midst of you trying to correct him, he pities you. As if you are the one that doesn't know what you are doing. Some of you know your parents are like that. They take wrong decisions. You are saying plainly this is wrong step. And you are saying don't go this way. And they begin to advise you. They say the problem is that you don't have sense. And you are surprised. A decision you know in two, three years, you can see the result of it. And at the end of it, it still happened that way. Even in the midst of the fact that they've seen the repercussion, they still tell you don't know what you're doing. It is, it's a manipulation in Africa. It's a manipulation. How, for instance, right now, that you'll be in this service, you saw me preaching, right? And then by tomorrow morning, you will hear a rumor that I was caught with someone in a hotel by what's the time now? Some few minutes past seven. And you sat down to discuss it if something was not wrong with you. It's a manipulation. That's why propaganda spreads in Africa. We don't reason. The mind is bewitched. We don't use our mind effectively. The dark continent. You don't sit down to think. So you go to you go you go to your 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 Facebook page, your WhatsApp, and you see an investment that put three hundred thousand in thirty five minutes. You will get six hundred, and you put something is wrong with you. How on earth did you expect the voice of the Holy Ghost to be active then, when He gave you a brain? Even if it was tight, it doesn't work magic like that. In thirty five minutes, you never reasoned. What kind of business is that? And the person teaching you such kind of system is begging you to do it by force. You think Africa behaves that way? A secret you will have heard with himself. But you invested and lost everything because there is what? A bewitchment on your mind. And all these things I'm saying, First Kings 13, give me that scripture from verse 1, are because demonic altars get erected over cities are we following and from that altars enchantment like Balaam wanted to do and spells are cast give me Job 3 verse 8 he said those who raise up in the morning to what command the morning to cause the day they cast spell over the city no wonder that was a prayer David was trying to pray in Psalm 121 that Lord let the sun not smite me by day that you come under that solar season and your mind become distorted all the moon by night those that operate in what we call migraine lunatic are we following it means night issues they don't want to see lights when it's night time strange headache on their mind why altars have been erected littered all over that city and territory from which spells a cast an enchantment that's why some of you observe that during the day you just feel sometimes unnecessarily tired you feel sometimes you have not done nothing you don't know why you're extremely lazy just one lecture you have received 30 minutes strange headache why altars littered over the city are we together and so the reasoning is distorted it's scattered it's scattered the way you think is so low so low so low see that man making it 
kept three baboons. Baboon that doesn't even exist in the whole of Nigeria. But he kept it in his house that vomits money for him. And you believed and even share. Some of you are forwarding your stupidities on WhatsApp. You are sharing stupid. That you are advertising your stupidity to generations. When you share some things, you just saw how mad you are. How crazy. How low your reasoning is. That's Africa. So the newspaper sells easily. They tell us yesterday that Buhari traveled. On his way traveling, Fue finished in the, in the plane. You bought and read. Then the next day, the prince back again. That currently he has not been able to buy Fue. You bought and read. Then they print again the following day. That the plane is about to land, but something happened to the tire. You bought and read. Something is wrong with us. Our mind has been bewitched. Are we following? Now, when you understand this, you now know why it looks like religion is a scam. Because we teach them the truth, but because of the mind that is affected, they don't reproduce the truth into what? Reality. They don't make the word become flesh to dwell among the generations. Are we together? When you receive that revelation, that word, your job is to make it what? Flesh through the use of your word, Kail glory, your natural glory and endowment. Are we together? Your natural glory and endowment. Because sometimes it mothers me. Where you see the greats of the world and nations today, they exist. China is a communist country. A communist country. You don't know God. Qatar, UAE, and the rest of them, Dubai. Look at the creativities everywhere. And you kept shouting every day, you have the Holy Ghost. Yes, I agree. But just the Bible, the way the Bible says, the body without the spirit is what? Dead. So also, your divine, your cabal glory, without the function of your what? Kaye glory, to give it an expression, is useless. It's useless. It's useless. Are we together? It's useless. I pray for you, by tomorrow you get a job and you didn't apply. You sat down. You took no step. Forgetting the fact that the Bible says Paul planted Apollo water. The job of God is to give what? Increase. We throw away our minds. That's why the Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in what? Christ Jesus. Rise up to your feet. So tonight, in few minutes, we want to pray against altars. Give me Job 3.8. Let the Lord of my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. them cause it that cause what the day so there are people whose assignment is to what pronounce words into the day are we following <laughs> the bible says who are ready to what raise up their what morning i'm making you understand why you are not productive why you are not second peter one and from verse three to ten he said, add to your spirituality, diligence, excellence, patience, um, um, intelligence, and the rest of it. He said, when you do these things, you will be fruitful. He was telling you to balance your kail towards your cabot glory. It's a double glory. It's a double glory. It's a double glory. Add to it. So because they know we are very religious... They leave us to our prayer and fasting. They don't mind. Fast 50 days. 100. Pray all your life. But let's do something towards their natural glory. Let's do something to it. So those altars, like we see, the Bible says they cast what spells each day. They bewitch men. They drop it in the atmosphere. The Bible calls the devil the priest of the air. 
So he has the ability to manipulate the weather condition to make you feel so weak and tired. And so before, because you don't know that, you say, I, I feel weak. And you count 24 hours without placing a tag to what you achieved, to what you used that 24 hours to do. It's a manipulation. It's a manipulation. Are we together? It's a manipulation. Strongholds. 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 They keep talking to you, talking to you, talking to you. You just can't listen. And when you, you are done, you feel bad. You are under a spell. Are we together? You are under a spell. You are not comfortable with the kind of life you live. And yet you keep living that same life. It's a spell that has been cast over you. Sponsored by what? Altars. Demonic altars littered all around. Who will have read the scripture I called? First Kings 13, but time will fail us. How God had to send a prophet to judge altars in the city. Because of the dominance of those, such altars around the city, the whole city was under a spell and a grip. Remember Samaria? How one man, one man, Eliamas held the whole city in a grip through the casting of spells on people. So they found out they don't know what they are doing again. It's a spell. It's a spell. It's a spell. Hold the hands of somebody. Let's pray tonight. Lord, every altar erected against my life and destiny, I judge by your fire tonight. Raise up your voice and pray. Every altar must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every altar must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every item must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every item must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every item must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome every item must come down. Every song must shall be broken. You have overcome. You, you have overcome. You have overcome. Every item must come down. Every struggle shall be broken. You have a victor's star. You have overcome, you are, yeah, yeah. every item must come down, every stronghold shall be broken, you wear the victor's crown, you have overcome, you have overcome, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every altar erected against my life, against my destiny, against my family, I judge by fire. 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 
I judge by fire. I judge by fire. Jedagabambe adobela azoga. Ila la gobembe la azgemene koparata. La bebrua zetatama iadoba. Ela mangu belege bendo baratega na meangos. Rada da 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 shata. Enam bebolos de yege talaba iagabula. Roba ba yege shota ya skeyate. Roba mbela zopa ya katiada. In Jesus' name, we pray. So there are those whose job is to cast spell. One time, one of our fathers, he was traveling to a city. And he said, as he entered into the city, by noon, he saw a malam in the sky casting spell over the city let me tell you how spell operates when they cast spell over you or they they, 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 they send forth enchantment over your life it's not as if maybe if you are doing business customers will not come or the rest of them no what it does is to manipulate your mind to begin to act stupidly do things foolishly and take foolish decisions till you use your hand to cause the problem for yourself it scatters your mind that's what spell does and it is in every territory every city every city are we together God said, son, George, that was last week's service. He said, teach in one of the series on the need for them to judge altars and pull down what? Strongholds, thoughts that are exalting themselves against the knowledge of God. Thoughts. 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 It's a spell. Are we together? You pray this prayer again. Two more prayers and we are done tonight. Lord, every altar from whose spot my mind is manipulated. Are we together? My mind is manipulated. That's why sometimes you sit and say you are confused. Are we following? You are confused. You look at your life, you are wondering what you have been doing with your time. It's a manipulation. The way you reason the way you think, the way you do things can be manipulated from an altar. The reasoning. It's a problem in Africa. I have met people, a lot of them. These 16 years of counseling people, I've seen a lot of them. Manipulations are real. Very real. Sometimes I look at people and I pity them. Are we following? I pity them because they are doing things they don't even know what is sponsoring it. Are we together? They take decisions. Have you not read in 1 Chronicles 21? Where the Bible says because the, the devil warned God to be angry over Israel, he manipulated the mind of David to take a decision and count the census. Everybody was calling him, Oh king, see what the Lord said. He said, Count. He said, Sir, I am. He said, My friend, count. The mind was manipulated. Are we following? Where you see people behaving like a child. The thinking is low. The reasoning is low. I mean the way you are expected to be thinking at this level, at this age. You are not thinking that way. It's because of a manipulation on your mind. It's a manipulation. It's a manipulation in Africa. Are we together? Are we following? 
in manipulation. Lord, every altar from which my mind is manipulated, my mind is becoming unfruitful. I judge tonight. I silence such altars tonight. Can you raise your voice to pray? I silence such altars tonight. Shidako barateke banam dozoka bayada bandige dosh. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Oh, I need a chance falling. Oh, I need a chance. I need a chance falling. In Jesus' name we pray. By the time you walk to an average young man or young woman and ask the person, what are your views of life? What are your prospects? What are your agendas? You'll be very surprised. That's when you know that there is something on the mind. Are we together? The mind has been soiled and affected. So we don't think. We don't reason. We don't think. I wish I had a lot of time. I'm careful not to go deeply into the teaching. I just gave a surface of two scriptures. We will continue some other time. So I want us to close. But I pray for you. That may God make your mind to become productive. May God make your mind to become fruitful from today. May you look at the decisions you make, the choices you make, the steps you take, and be pleased with them. May they bring joy to your life. I declare and I declare that your mind will not lack inspiration. 
Now, watch, listen. I can have the screen. Okay, no problem. Job 32, verse 8. From the precedent verse, verse 1 to 7, the elder wants to Elihu have spoken for almost seven days. Elihu said, I kept quiet because I said days should speak and length of years should utter what? Wisdom. But I was shocked at the kind of things you were saying to Job. However, there is a spirit in man that when it gets fireized by what? The inspiration of the Almighty, then that man produces strange understanding on the earth. You see that man manifesting in dimensions of wisdom, excellence, creativity, and innovation. You are thinking straight. Thinking straight. I was privileged to meet one of our fathers some few weeks ago or this back rather and he asked me how about this I said I thank God I'm rounding up and I told him I said these are my next plans he was shocked and he made a statement he said I wish all young people would be like you here you can predict your plans for 50 years you are not scared to say this is what I want to do this is where I'm going to your mind is sound are we together? Your mind is what sound. You are thinking well. It's a, it's, a, it's a mockery. It's a mockery to the body of Christ. It's a mockery. So everybody feels that religion is a scam. Because you see a set of people that praise more than anybody in the world. They are more dedicated than religion than more, more than anybody in the world. They sow seed, give tithes, and give offering. Yet look at their lives. A mockery to a generation. A mockery. Because nobody told them that beyond the cabot glory you are downloading every day, you need to what? Use your kahil to give it what? Expression. Expression. Oh God, I have crazy ideas that my problem is finances. And you came to the service and I prophesied. May words be released for you for whatever your hands want to do. And you hear of grants, business grants that are coming up. You, because you just feel your first form page and it was hard. You say, guy, leave him. Money go, go give you, go give you. That's how a stupid person speaks. Because nobody told him that he would need his kail to give it expression. He felt because I spoke a word, so something will just turn. And when he goes home, you just see Ghana must go with money in his room. Like I asked a question. You came to school. The Bible is speaking in 1 John 2.20 that we have an unction from the Holy Ghost to what? Know all things. Why did you come to school to read? Stay in your house. and be speaking tongues. Holy Ghost, Shadaka Paradas. Teach me chemical engineering. Karabata Katas. Stay at home. Why did you come to school? That's how it is in the body of Christ. We keep downloading the wisdom, downloading the revelation, and do nothing about it, expecting that God will just move anyhow. But yet he gave you brain. He gave you two hands. He gave you legs. He gave you the body parts he gave you. And he said boldly before all nations that I created you in what? My image. He knows the potential of his human creation. He knows. Some of you know that if not that you were able to stretch yourself, right? You wouldn't even be where you are today. You were just moving life to somebody who was there to push you and you found out look at what you are. That's what is happening to some people because the mind is unfruitful. That's the last prayer I want us to pray tonight. Hold the hands of someone else. The hands of someone else. Stupid decisions. Stupid decisions. Stupid decisions. It's a spare. It's a spare. How can you, on the day of your exam, lock up yourself in the room praying that the Holy Ghost says you should not go and pray? You should not go to write your exams. No, I, I, one time a young man said he was waiting to hear the voice of the Holy Ghost to know whether I should resume school. Are you okay? Why did he give you brain? 
Are we following? Those are what people will hear. And call religion is calm. As if that's what they were thought. Are we together? You know nothing about finance. You've read nothing about any financial book. And every day, the bottle of oil I have prayed over, you kept drinking it. Say, wealth, come to me. Wealth, come to me. That's how I drink oil every morning now. Continue. That's how I used to drink oil. By the time you start bringing out oil from your body, you'll be shocked. Continue. Are we together? Please, let's not bring an insult to the name of God because of the way we lead our lives. Are we together? Let's not bring an insult. I am leaving you with a responsibility tonight to go home with. That you look at your life and you can now say from what you have heard tonight that there is a manipulation somewhere. You take decisions, you are shocked at them. I've seen people like that, that you're asking them, why did you do what you do? They say they can't understand. They can't. Some two months ago, is it two months? No, first semester when we resume, a young man walked up to me after this service and said, sir, please help me. I said, what's the problem? He said, I'm in final year. I don't have laptop. I don't have phone. I don't have money. What happened? He said, I went and played bed, Niger. They gave him almost 200 and something thousand to school. He finished all. So his phone as collateral finished it. Now, so his laptop too. It's a manipulative system on the mind. See, manipulation. Are we together? See, manipulation. When you hear people say, What will be, will be a beggy, forget it. It's a manipulation. They don't know too. It's a stronghold. Are we together? Pray this prayer. Oh God, make my mind fruitful. Make my mind shine your light upon my mind. Make my mind fruitful. Make my mind fruitful. You find out you don't take anything serious in life. Something is wrong. There is a manipulation. Make my mind fruitful. Ye baka bron di kabolon se de ya kataradash. Re baba baba ya da brada da 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 ya ga da brada de de da hata. I gro do 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 yogo vreda da 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 ya ga da. Oh God, make my mind fruitful. Bella bem baba lan zove ga ya ta laga di ekata. I na no ka bombe hazi ya bolombi ya ka penang yogo baritiz. Re de ge de ba sama ya nda laga vya ta laga di. Roba ba ya dam bro gombe lege bonza ya ga lunta ya ga dege dash. Ye baba rada kaske man ro don de lege de ben ta ya dash. Ria da baba ba ya dam be balon kwang lege de yege para data. I go brena non sa ya da brana ni ya ga brena ga do doza. Rada ga bam bam briga di o klon de lege dish. Ya bambela haskiri ya talagadi ya katonda Erada bambara gasgene meke toriada Rebebebe lege brilia galaga ya gabi ya danonte In Jesus name we pray One of the most pitied people on the earth right now are Christians Are we together? Some two days ago, I, I was very tired. So I went into the office. I lay down and I took my phone. I needed to check something online. So I opened a page on something. And I saw a picture. The picture was drawn. I wouldn't know if you saw that picture. Please come, young man. Come. The picture was drawn this way. Stay, don't worry, just stay. And they draw, they put a circle. A, 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 a basket was here. And this man, assuming me to be a person, I was like a hook, right? Picking fish and putting in this basket. Then they draw this guy as the pastor, throwing his own hook to the basket. This me, I'm putting fish. And I saw it. And I was pinned. I was pinned. 
Because the truth there is that that's the average mindset of Christians. That's the average mindset. Where we feel is just to lock up ourselves in the place of prayer and do nothing about it. Hear me and hear me very clearly, people of God. I won't deceive you. So many people are very close to me here. I work very, very hard. Very, very hard. And I still pray much more than any of you here. We just finished 100 hours some weeks ago, right? Some of them were with me. I pray. I fast, I think, to an extent more than every one of you. If I join your fasting life, it won't get close to where I am right now. But I work very hard. I'm productive with my mind. I put my hands to work. Not to bring a reproach to myself. Paul said not to be a burden to others. I am productive with my mind. I don't live depending on other people. I don't make my life stay at the mercy of others. Are we together? So don't just lock up yourself pray. The essence why you prayed was to be inspired by the Holy Ghost. When you are inspired, get out from the place of prayer place and go and do something with your life. Don't stay there. Every day somebody says in retreat, is in retreat, is in retreat. Continue. Don't worry. Say angels came and gave Jesus food. Be waiting for yours. Continue. Do I do retreat? A lot of time. We pray for us every night, right? Every night still did for us, the end of the year. So I do retreat. But when I am done retreating, I do something else with my mind. I bring forth what I have downloaded through my prayers to reality by putting what? My career, my natural glory to work. Are we together? I put them to work. Are we following? Put them to work. I, I shared a story last week. I, you know, <laughs> see, put your hands on your head and say, Lord, flood my mind with light. Flood it with light. Now listen, I am a pastor, right? And I do so many other things. I write books. I do reviews for people. I run trainings and the rest of them. I am running a training. I think tomorrow is your class, right? How much did you pay Shade? Five thousand. Did I beg you for it? I was even threatening you that if you don't pay your time, I close it and increase it. Productive with your mind. Productive with what? Your mind. And sometimes you see that five thousand times hundred is how much? Huh? In less than two hours, I'm done. And then you sit down and think you start an offering. How much did you put? If I want to live by this. After your prayers, use your mind. Are we together? We can't keep training the church like everybody will be a pastor. No, not everybody is going to ministry. Sit down. Be creative. Study a lot. Read, inform your mind. That when you speak, let wisdom be gushing out of you. Are we together? Let it be gushing out of you. Some of you right now, if I ask you, how long have you prayed? You got 12 hours. This, how many books have you read? Your bragging might be three now. Not that you finished all of them. You stopped at 10, 10 pages, 10, 10 pages, of the three books. And you want to go find life? How? How? At this level, look at what I have been able to achieve. Yet I can boast that I've read over 9,000 books. 9,000. At this height. And you have read nothing. Possibly when you have a greater anointing than I do. I need to come and sow a seed to tap into that. If that's how it works. I pray for you tonight. May God make your mind productive. Every altar. Every altar. From where your mind is being manipulated. From where your destiny is manipulated. I judge tonight. 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 In the name of Jesus. May God flood your mind with his light. May he inspire your mind with his fire. May your mind become productive from today. May your reasoning be boosted. May your reasoning be boosted. 
in the name of Jesus and I decree that the next set of innovation creativity excellence that will begin to come forth on the earth this set of breed I see in the visions of God that he's raising in these last days may you be enlisted I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth may you be enlisted may you be enlisted in the name of Jesus Christ may God reveal himself to you may he cause his face to shine upon you lift up your hands and thank him for tonight give him praise thank him Lord we worship you we thank you we give you praise we give you glory